Hi there, Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast. For week commencing the 3rd of March, ideas that you started to formulate in the early part of last month but have not yet come to fruition can start to power forwards from this week, giving you a real sense of optimism. And part of this comes from the fact that the sun in the part of your scope that is to do with expansion and adventurism is combining brilliantly with Jupiter in your sign on Monday and Tuesday. But the two also combined on the back of last week's new moon, so this backdrop of positivity can actually go on for much of March, but it's up to you to tap into it. You can't be passive to the process. Now equally, the Sun continues to forge a great link with Pluto this week, right through to Friday, so there may be one person that you're cooperating closely with that's helping you to transform your situation. This could be a mentor, it could be an advice giver, or it could be a source of information which is helping to give you the extra spark to go for your personal goals. But this is a week which also sees Jupiter start to go forward again in your sign. Now, a retrograde in Jupiter doesn't make us unlucky. It just means that we have to work that much harder to make the most of its asset. And its asset is going to be with you through till June. So do work very hard between now and then to make the most of this, especially around your flair, individuality and creativity. And on the same day, on Thursday, Venus moves into Aquarius. Now Venus has been in your opposite sign since the 5th of November, so an incredibly long period of time. This two month period may have seen you go through quite a few different changes in your thinking about how you relate to other people, especially when Venus was tracking backwards in its retrograde. But now it's asking you to really weigh up what you gain from that whole process. And it could be that in a professional sense, you will gain from some kind of business partnership or being associated with somebody who actually does well themselves in the next 28 days and shares their good fortune with you. It's a definite possibility. However, in the latter part of this week, Mercury, which is also in Aquarius, is going to be getting tangled up with Saturn. And in a romantic context, if one of you tends to do much more in a settled relationship than the other, when it comes to financial commitments or just time and energy around the household chores, that could cause a little bit of discontent. So it is going to be important to continue to work hard at things but I feel that the quarter moon, which occurs on Saturday, could bring something to the fore that's been bubbling in the background. But once it comes into the open, it is going to be important to try to be a bit logical about it and not get too swept away on the back of a tide of emotion. Because something you would ordinarily take in your stride could get under your skin as this week draws to a close a lot more than it normally would do. However, if you are footloose and fancy three, the fact that Venus has entered Aquarius suggests that there could be a much more fascinating and intoxicating relationship that's going to be heading your way in the next four weeks. Whether it will last or not is another matter, but it could be with someone that you meet somehow through your work, through your family, or who is older or younger than you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.